you like frogs? Yeah, frogs are cool. I love frogs. We don't get enough frogs here. Yeah. Although it's because we don't have rain. They're also very different, and this may be related to that study that this is the like one of the most sinful cities in America. I actually saw a frog last night, and it was but it said instead of saying ribbit, it said rub it. <laughs> Stupid. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex. It's Tim Corbin. I'm perverted. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon for follow us Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. One of these has more championships than the other. I'll let you guess who. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> and Aaron Judge will be a Yankee for life. <laughs> it's a large contract. He deserves it. Today we got a best ever food review show. Yay! And this one is not actually Indian. It's Sri Lankan. But then why are we doing it? Extreme Sri Lankan. Read this. I, I don't even need to read it. I know how many Indians are in Sri Lanka. Uh, Jaffna food and the neck bulge Tamils. Neck bulge. The da- neck bulge Tamils. So I was anticipating it to be Damilian because I know about that yeah. connection with Sri yeah. Lanka, obviously. Um, but neck bulge. bulge. Babe, do you know about the neck you- bulge Damilians? In Sri Lanka? Does Sri Lanka and neck bulge <laughs> Tamilians I guess seem we'll to learn, ring a bell? I guess we'll learn in this video. Any Indians you know of that are the neck bulge fill in the blank? No. Yeah, I have no clue. All I'm right. guessing we'll figure out what that is. If not, that would be the random <laughs> thing to put in the title. That would... <laughs> Here we go. Okay, mysterious Tamil cuisine. I'm a meat eater, but while you're sitting to have this meal, you really want oh. to feel like it's a miss. And the shocking ceremonies that take place right before the big meal. I can't help but notice there's so many people here who have a lump on the back of their neck. What is the lump? But first, let's back up. Across country, I was not expecting it to be legitimate. To the northernmost region. That is a bulge on your neck. I'm super interested. <laughs> you see the greatest concentration of Tamil people in the country, a community that takes up 11% of Sri Lanka. What is going on here? Biggest festival of Yevtah. And longest, I heard. Today, I'm on a mission to discover the unique food Tamil traditions have brought to this country. Is that a bad idea? <laughs> and it all starts here. Our market. It's the busiest and most prominent fish market on the Jaffna Peninsula. Smells a bit fishy here. Of course, it's a fish market. <laughs> Dumbass. Seafood for breakfast, and maybe even make friends with some exotic creatures like this. It looks like a that's a blowfish. Fish. Yeah. Oh, be Blows careful, bro. Infamous for their tetrodotoxin. Yeah. Which 20 minutes after consumption can kill a grown man or even someone like me. Is that yummy? <laughs> My guide for all things Sri Lankan cuisine, Ruzena. Joining us, Jaffa local, Joseph. When is the last time you were here? Two weeks before. I assume that with all the seafood here, you have more than enough for the people here. Yes, they are exporting to South. Besides being a key seafood supplier to much of Sri Lanka, Jaffa stands alone as the cradle of Sri Lankan Tamils. It seems uh, the majority of Tamil people here are Hindu, right? 90% are Hindu. Separate from the Indian Tamils, who were brought to this country during British rule, the Sri Lankan Tamils have resided here since the second century BC. There's also a big Christian population here too. The Portuguese first and the Dutch came in and then they converted most of the Hindus. Uh, are you yourself Christian? Catholic. So we're going to go to your house shortly and we're going to be cooking up some different dishes. Is this food that you grew up with? Yes. Oh wow. Again. Your wife made all this food, right? That's all. Do you get to eat like this every day? One item. Not all. <laughs> so these are the hoppers, right? Yes, but this is the Jaffna version of it. Rice flour, sugar, egg, salt, and coconut milk blend into a mix to create this native Sri Lankan dish. Coat the bottom of a small wok with a thin layer of silky liquid. Then a bonus shot of coconut milk. In a few minutes, oh, wow. we have an alluring milky hopper that goes perfectly with anything on the table. Wow, I've never seen that. Wow, that looks cool. That is a coconut sambal. 
to make this beloved tree like That's one heck of a mortar and pestle. Nash onions, curry leaves, chili powder, and loads of scraped coconut. Crave that soft center, and then this is just really spicy. But that looks amazing. It does. It's like a shredded coconut, but it's absorbed all the spice. Coconut overload. <laughs> Sri Lankan Tamil cuisine is a melting pot of Indian cuisine, colonial influence, and foreign traders' taste. In Jaffna, for those who eat protein, seafood, squid, go to choice. The cuttlefish from the market is cut into rings. The layers of flavor begin with fennel seed, fenugreek, and garlic in coconut oil. That's a lot of garlic. Then curry leaves, onion, and green chilies. Finally, the cuttlefish. It cooks and combines with even more flavors before finally hitting the table. Wow. I'm gonna try this cuttlefish alone. Looks like onion rings. It looks just like squid, but yeah, it looks like a crunchy. it looks like a calamari. That's Jaffna curry powder. And how is Jaffna curry powder mm. different from other curry powders? In the south, they don't use the cloves specifically in their curry powder, mm -hmm. but that's cinnamon. Here, everything is there, but there's a little bit extra cloves. Oh, that's and interesting. Extra chili powder. Yeah, I taste the chili powder. <laughs> It's really spicy. With a rich Tamil culture of food, temples, and festivals, Jaffna is worth a visit to travelers who are willing to make the long journey here by car or train. This building behind you, was that your inn before? Yes. When did you build an inn here? After the peace storm in 2002. For over two decades, Sri Lanka suffered through a civil war that killed over 100,000 people. With the war finally ending in 2009, tourism started to thrive. So I thought of renovating my house with the minimum facilities. The only plan, they came and inspected everywhere. <coughs> my was selected as top choice. As Sri Lanka gained its spot on the world tourism map, so did its cuisine. I thought this was just a plate of noodles, but they're kind of like individual pancake portions. Oh, wow. String hopper. Looks like spaghetti. Yeah, but I think it's like in a, in a patty. That dough is squeezed. Oh, wow. Extruder. That's cool. That's really awesome. After a five minute steam, they're ready. How do you eat this? What we do is we stack about two, three together. That's fine. Alright, so get it soaked with all this coconut broth. This is a shrimp curry. Uh. <laughs> the shrimps, join a curry nice. made with coconut milk, green chilies, onions, liquid salt, turmeric powder, squeezed tomatoes. Did he say liquid chicken. salt? I think he did. Mmm, I've got a jelly pancake inside. I've got a shrimp wrapped up. I have some of that sambal. And then oh. before you know it, it's already down your throat. Oh. It's good. Hey, noodles, You're really, really good job say. of soaking up the sauce. That's really incredible. Not too hot. I think the cuttlefish is the hottest by far. What's your favorite thing here? Crab. <laughs> Crab. <laughs> I get to handle it. It makes me feel like I'm cleansing my insides, my impurities. Blue crabs are clean, portioned, and immersed in coconut milk. And hopefully cooked and fully through. Jaffna curry powder, oh, onion, duh. curry leaves, and ginger <laughs> I told you about that experience in Papua New Guinea. Oh, it was really rough. The crab? How do you eat the crab? Just yeah. Eat nope. Yeah, yeah. He kind of squeezes out the meat. When you do Not that, doing it. you get some of the <laughs> cartilage in there. Can you eat, oh. like, crab legs? Because that's a big-time <laughs> finger food that you have to yeah, dip in butter. Okay. and. Good? Good? I have. I don't like How much validation it. do you need? I like the taste. Mm, but right. breaking open yeah, a leg, yeah, I love it. Everything about it, breaking it open, dripping down your... Oh. And it's, it's very nice with the noodles. It just helps it go down. Can you feel the difference of the robust flavors in this curry? Yeah. Jaffna is where uh, crab curry was initially bought. So Jaffna has just been up and down and up and down more than anywhere else in Sri Lanka, right? When it comes to tourism? Yes. Mm. In 2019, Sri Lanka earned 12% of its GDP through tourism. But after a civil war, domestic terrorism, a pandemic, and now an economic collapse, those tourism numbers have been decimated. Mm. And perhaps no place is feeling the pinch more than this remote city of Jaffna. The Europeans come, they just home in Karambo and other places and they go. What is the state of tourism now in Jaffna? Almost minus. Minus. Almost. No fever. So they can't come. 
outsiders come to see it or not, holy festivals continue without pause as they have for generations. And with enormous events, always comes impressive feasts. Welcome to the kitchen. This morning we got our dose of protein and now it's time for the veggies. And that is because right now we are in an Hindu restaurant. People are going to be coming to this restaurant soon after the event that is coming up shortly. This is the 25-day-long Nalur Festival. Without the usual tourist crowd, Jaffa streets are still flooded with thousands of Hindu Tamils from all over the country. After the ceremony, they'll be flowing into Tamil restaurants in search of this. So we've got two foods right here. This is a kuruma. Here we got spices, potatoes, peas, lots of well, vegetables. We've got sambar, we're gonna have dosa, we're gonna have rice, lots of feasting, but first. The 20th day of the Nalur festival has begun. From July to September, this festival honors Lord Muruga, the Hindu god of war and the god of the Tamil people. Have you been going to this festival since you were a kid? Yeah, yeah. Neela whose restaurant we'll be trying soon, is taking a break... I thought it said Leland. ...walk me through <laughs> this epic event. Oh, wow. Each evening before sunset, a different, unique altar is strenuously carried around the Nalur Kovil Temple. But notice there's so many people here who have a lump on the back of their neck. What is the lump? So it's like a form of saying that the God is sitting on your back. The bigger the lump, that means you carry it for longer. And then they keep it like that in a way to show that they're proud of what they've done. But how do you make a lump like that? Trying to learn more about these mysterious neck lumps, I try approaching some of the men. Can I shake your hand? Who just like girls in my high school. Can you come here? They all refuse my advance. <laughs> <laughs> Neelan has managed to persuade one of the devotees, but there's a catch. He wants you to remove the shirt. But I don't know where to put my mic. Turns out, as a sign of respect, any male from the age of three cannot dress above the waist, and doing so could cause great offense. Where do I put this? Right here? <laughs> Oh! How are you doing? Feel good? Can I ask you, how did you get this? We can make holding the weight. Yeah. They had a big bamboo pull on the name. <laughs> the accepted lore here is that these curious neck lumps develop over time and are the result of carrying heavy loads during this festival. I happen to think they're more likely the result of synthol or oil injections. I can't prove this, but I do know. Whenever a physical attribute becomes a symbol of status, some folks will take a shortcut to obtaining it. That's kind of like very true. Transplant. That's super After interesting. After rounds its third corner, I take off to the restaurant to beat the post-ritual rush. Are you the, the mic on the nipple? Behind this menu? Yeah. Yeah. I think we should try the dosa oh. because it can lose its crunch. Yes. Dosa. You don't want the dosa to lose its crunch. No. Fermented batter of lentils, rice, salt, and sugar, all spread thinly over a hot flat top. Slather with a complex paste of mashed potato, chili powder, curry powder, onions, garlic, cumin seeds, and curry leaves. Uh. Even plain is quite good. Then I can dip it in your uh. chutney. Mm. Really crispy dosa, which has its own yummy masala. The chutney is full of coconut flavor and super spicy. It is just a combination that you just don't really get where I come from. This is a koruma. No koruma? <laughs> a symphony of flavor. Cinnamon, nutmeg, star anise, onions, lemongrass, green chilies, tomatoes, garlic, fennel seeds, <sighs> and mustard <laughs> seeds come together in hot oil. Then pandan and curry leaves, then chickpeas, potatoes, carrots, and green beans. I don't know that there's a cuisine that incorporates more seasonings and flavors than Indian cuisines. Oh, no. Oh. The spices are different. I like that it's not mushy, so it has some good texture. And, you know, some places you oh, go to, oh, all the delicious. food just tastes the same. It's distinctly different from what's inside the dosa and from the chutney as well. For you, what spice comes out the most? I'm getting a lot of, like, cinnamon, cumin, and star anise, and uh, nutmeg. Mmm. 
So you're vegetarian. How old were you when you started being vegetarian? Since uh, birth. You've never had meat? Yeah. Ever in your life? Like most religions, the Hindu Tamils and Christian Tamils' beliefs are reflected in their diets. For oh, wow. the Christians, pretty much anything is fair game. For the Hindus, this means no meat. Why is it important to you to not eat meat? His family is very involved with the temple, so they don't eat meat, you know? It's a form of respect to the animal. Is it more like a high respect or like actual worship? Worship and respect. Oh. So we've tried the kuruma. What is this one called again? Chili parata. Chili parata. It's an advanced oh, it's a parata. The more familiar roti parata. I was like, roti what is he doing? Is Paratas are delicious. Oh, that looks amazing. And cut into squares. Oh, my goodness. On the griddle, toss on chopped onions, green chilies, and tomatoes. Then the roti. Finish with a handful of chili powder. Oh, that's interesting. Heat from the chili sauce. So yeah, Ketchup? wow. No, chili sauce. This is just one portion of the Wow, that's interesting. Tonight. And it it, it almost looks like a sweet and sour, like, Chinese dish. Yeah. Sure, it tastes nothing like that. Mm, I gotta say, I love meat, but this is very satisfying. It feels full of flavor. It is sweet, sour, and spicy all at the same time. India vegetarian is the most filling vegetarian. The most filling and flavorful. Yes. Nothing comes close. You don't miss the meat if you're just eating a vegetarian dish. Totally agree. So filling. Absolutely Which is not agree. normal. The vegetarian diet, they either picture a loaf of bread or a salad, and it sounds boring. But it's when you come to places like this where you go, maybe I can do this. Oh, they destroy American diet. Oh, yeah. It would seem that an event like this, it is such a spectacle. It's so fascinating, so interesting. I would think tourists would want to come to see this, right? Usually, a lot of people came here in at the moment, festival diet. But last four years, many people did not come because of the bomb blast and corona effect. This year also, economical collapse. I want to ask you this yeah. time. In 2019, Lonely Planet named Sri Lanka like the number one tourist destination. And then now it's like, I mean, Sri Lanka has fallen so far from that point. Can it ever get back there? Sri Lanka is a magical island. I always kept saying this because it is. We've got beautiful beaches. We've got beautiful landscape. We've got beautiful estates. And if you want the beach and hot mm. weather, you come here. If you want really nice, cool weather, you go to the central province. And we are resilient people. We've been through 30 years of civil war. We've been through bomb blasts. We've been through an economic crisis. We've been through the rut. But we still keep, you know, coming back again and again and again. So we've got like everything here. All we need is a simple plan from the leadership and we'll get back to it in no time. It's true? That's true. Let's go on. Oh wow, jeez. That's magical. Look at That was cool. That, that was a really the cool video. The you show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. Okay. Okay. Go support them, obviously. Yeah. Uh, one of our favorite channels. Yep. Love the best ever food review show. Yeah, that was super interesting. And I know we have a bunch of Sri Lankan stupid babies. Yeah. Like, it's obviously... I, does Sri Lanka actually have its own film industry? Wouldn't that, surprise me. Let me know that, obviously. But I do know, like, there's a bunch of... Sri Lankans and also Indians that have transferred to Sri Lanka. Yes. Um, that do follow the channel. So if you are a Sri Lankan stupid baby, let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, that was that was super interesting. A lot of super interesting dishes in there. Like the, really? Like, chopped up the paratha, put yeah. it in the meal. That neck bulge is super interesting. It is. And it's like a self almost, I don't know, I don't think self mutilation is the probably the wrong word. Yeah. But like, it's like, it's super, super interesting. There's certain religious practices throughout the world that do certain things like that. Yes. Um, that always fascinate me. Me too. Because in that one's like no different. Like, how the hell do you get a yeah, I've never bulge seen that on before. Your yeah. That is insane. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Um, but yeah, super great video. Love his videos as I always. I do too. And it's, a, it's sad to, that most of the time what happens in places with tourism is the people get get injured in in their hospitality attempts because of things that are going on typically governmentally yeah uh, like for example we were just I was just mentioning how Indonesia just passed the law of the fact that now any sex outside of marriage is criminalized mm -hmm. and I was reading a follow up article on that and how everybody in tourism there is now freaking out because that law is going to apply to tourists yeah so if you're a couple who's coming and you 
are not married, you can be imprisoned for up to three years in Indonesia. That's going to be a bit of a turnoff to people yeah. who want to go there for Literally. any kind of a trip. Yeah, Literally. a literal turnoff to anybody who's going there who isn't legally married. Yeah, it's a it's a shame. Yeah, it yeah. Is, uh, but it looked wish them the best. Look absolutely beautiful. The food looked absolutely delicious. He's such a good channel. Yeah, he is. I'm. I, he should have. He has nine point four five million. He should have way more. He yeah. should have upwards of twenty million. I was gonna say should he? He deserves like a twenty-five million channel. Yeah, he he he's his content is consistently good. And Yet, boy, did the, the, we've mar we've remarked over the years, the the improvement in his production oh, yeah. quality has become Obviously, top notch. He has an, an entire small team of uh, editors yeah. and um, all that kind of. And they the do a great job. He, I would love to do something like this. Is just travel the world. Yeah. And, eat different foods and see different cultures and he does a great job at it great job um and great title Jaffa extreme food. sri lanka jaffna food and the neck bulge, bulge demos yeah I, I don't think i could eat that crab one though oh i absolutely Ugh. could it's for you it's the whole drippy finger thing that and i don't i'm i don't i've never liked food that looks like it's living self or that I have to touch the bone, or like, cause at the at a restaurant I went to the other day, it had they actually had mutton biryani, and okay. the, it was delicious, but the mutton was always still on the bone, and so I had a hard time eating. Well, I know the that, but you said something I maybe I didn't know. So, for example, if you went and you ordered like a half chicken, I don't do that. Mm. Or if you were served a fish. That had the head no, attached. I, oh no, hell no! I don't eat fish very much anyway. Yeah, because I, I, if it's fishy at all. So that's I'll, the thing I'll with understand. the bone is it's too closely approximate to yeah. the living animal. And then I also I also don't like the texture of biting into something and having a bone there, as well. I don't it's like that. So interesting. Yeah, it's. I'm weird. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been that way since I was a kid, though. Yeah. Like I'd never really liked eating a drumstick of a chicken. Because I, I I had to touch the bone and it would get on all my hands. But in Hawaii, didn't did you guys get a lot of fresh seafood in Hawaii? Yeah, and see it cleaned and everything. Yeah, and it didn't bother you as long as it I was didn't fully clean. right. You just were fine with it prepared and. Oh, they could they could do it all they want. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing it. Yeah, no. Uh, my dad's obviously coast guard, so we would go fishing on the back of his boat, catch big old mahi mahi. Yeah, off the back of the boat, and they would clean it on the back of the boat. Would you clean it? No, no. Well, and I was like eight so yeah. they, you don't want an eight-year-old touching a big knife like that <laughs> sure you do <laughs> but also no i i, I no. took i took i mean they never shot a, they never shot a rifle but um man ashley alexis and michael were exposed to hunting from the age of like two no no so they not. were they were learning i'm how definitely to, they, not, were, they were learning how to field dress a deer before they were 10 I'm definitely not a hunter yeah. i shot a bunch of guns because my dad once again, was in the military for 30 years. And so after a certain time, he also got a job that he taught people how to shoot guns. Right. And he had probably 27 guns in sure. the house, but they right. were all locked up. Of course, they safe. were locked up. <laughs> like he was most responsible gun owners yeah, he, should. He, he's uh, very safe, but uh, like I've, I've shot a bunch, but I hunting is not. So you've never done it? Never hunted anything? I've been before. hunting. No, no, no. You yourself yeah. pulled the trigger yeah. on, a, on an animal. I haven't killed it, but I, I've shot the gun. I missed. Oh, but uh, okay. I, and I've been there when yeah. people did it, but I don't like it. Interesting. It's not. It's not for me. Um, but I do love Indian vegetarian. Probably the best. It's the best in the world. Fun that I've fact, ever had. Though, bunch of vegetarian stuff options. Not a lot of vegan options in Indian food, though. No, that's very true. Because of they like the ghee and they like butter and egg and and yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of vegan options anywhere in the world. Yeah. But it's uh, an extremely specialized. It's form a of very ve eating. vegetarian friendly cuisine, but yeah. not a very vegan friendly cuisine. Yeah, um, but it is. We we had mentioned I, I, of all the foods I've ever tasted that fall under the category of vegetarian, uh, it's the only one I've ever so eaten filling. where I don't miss the animal proteins. The meat, yeah, it's already so filling. Yep. Anyways, uh, if you have other videos we can react to, please let us know what they are. If you are a Sri Lankan uh, stupid baby or Tamil that's now in Sri Lanka, please let us know uh, down in the comments below. Josh!